So you want to retire in Vietnam, but do not know where to start. Unlike other countries, Vietnam does not have a retirement visa. Nevertheless, we have come up with many different options and alternatives for you to live in Vietnam similar to a retirement visa. So in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about both the passive and active income options that you may have while you are sipping your coffee and enjoying your life in Vietnam. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Ken Jung, international and business immigration attorney with over 15 years of experience helping companies and individuals expand, live, and invest all over the world, especially individuals getting second citizenships in the United States, Portugal, or other parts of Europe, Grenada, and many other parts of the world. But before I get into the topic today, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get the most updated information on citizenship, residency, investment, and retirement. So let's talk about active income first. First, there are two types of active incomes in Vietnam. One, you are an employee of a company and you get a salary from that company. And then two, if you are a business owner and you open up a business that generates revenue. Under either scenario, you would need to get a work permit and to have legal status to be able to work in Vietnam. For instance, Vietnam offers many active income opportunities if you have a certain set of skills that are in demand. Number one, teaching English. As Vietnam globalizes and opens itself to the world, English language is critically important. So therefore, being an English teacher in Vietnam, you can either teach at the university, at education centers, or even open your own online teaching. But of course, you need to have your TOEFL certification uh, in English before you're able to get these jobs. Number two, consulting and training. Expats who have very specialized skills or knowledge in a particular industry can do consulting or training for various professionals in different businesses. Areas such as information technology, finance, legal, accounting, and other marketing and professional services. Number three, freelance work. As a freelancer, you're able to work remotely and in anywhere in Vietnam or anywhere around the world, traveling in and out of Vietnam. So if you're a freelancer in digital marketing, SEO, content creation, content writing, and many other of the marketing-based services, then you can use platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, or Freelancer to get work all around the world. We also created a video highlighting the high demand jobs in Vietnam in order to help you select the jobs that's most suitable for you. So you can click on the right hand corner to watch that video. As I mentioned, as an entrepreneur or as an employee, you will have to have a work permit or a work visa in order to work in Vietnam. So if you're unfamiliar with the procedures and the process and steps, our team of experts will be happy to help you get those documents. Also, we provide translation and legalization services as well. So if you need that help, don't hesitate to contact us. So based on my opinion, having worked here in Vietnam for over 10 years as an attorney, I think the work environment is quite relaxed, balanced, and also creates you an opportunity to try on new things and learn new areas that are maybe a little bit difficult compared to the developed country that you work in. So with that said, I think that there are many opportunities in professional services as an attorney, accountant, marketing expert, finance expert. There are many opportunities here in Vietnam because that's a middle manager role that you can really grow and develop with the country as those areas are highly sought after uh, in Vietnam right now. So if you're looking to work here in Vietnam in the higher specialized area, then professional service is the way to go. If you are working in a certificate based or lower work area, you really have to consider because there are a lot of skill sets in Vietnam that are taking those jobs. And that's my opinion about working in Vietnam and what areas will be successful. After discussing the active income, now let's explore some of the industries that you may be able to get passive income. So there are five industries that we believe will be great for passive income in Vietnam. Number one, investing into the stock market or Jose, uh, which is the Ho Chi Minh stock market or the Hanoi stock market will allow you to just trade 
and then be able to get appreciation upon sale of the particular stocks. That's one really great way. We have a video for you that can delve deeper into those topics. Number two, opening up an online business. As the boom of the e-commerce, buying online, selling online, where you don't have to have physical brick and mortar stores, uh, the consumption of, from anything electronics, books, fashion, uh, F&B, and all the other products going online, you should definitely look at building an online business while you're in Vietnam. Number three, investing into real estate. Right now, Vietnam's real estate market is going down due to the uh, credit crunch, and we made a video about that, you can watch it. But offering an investment into real estate, such as buying an apartment or residential property, or buying a commercial property will cost a lot more money. However, you will get passive income from the rent and just managing the property itself. So definitely look into real estate investment as a passive income opportunity. Number four, the retail industry. As Vietnam's tourism industry continues to grow and expand, there's a growth opportunity in hospitality, hotels, travel agencies, F&B businesses, and entertainment in general. As an investor into a spa, a coffee shop, a private bar, and convenience stores, I have quite a bit of experience in the retail business, so I'll be happy to give you more advice. Number five, manufacturing. Vietnam is the biggest winner right now of the U.S.-China trade war, where manufacturing is coming into Vietnam as a foreign direct investment to open up a factory. So one way is you open a factory and you hire employees in order to manufacture goods for your particular developed country. So we've made many, many videos that uh, highlight how you open a factory, how you identify the opportunities, and which industrial parks to open in. So make sure you watch that video as well. As a downside to passive income in the stock market or in real estate as an individual, you will not be able to qualify for the DT4 investor visa program, which requires the job creation and economic stimulation for the Vietnamese market. So with that said, we would highly recommend that you open a real estate company that buys the real estate, maintains it, um, also rents it out. So that creates activities and jobs and that will help you qualify for the DT4 program. As an attorney and also investor in Vietnam in the retail space and real estate, I have quite a bit of experience in this particular area and our firm as well. So make sure that you contact us if you're looking to get the DT4 investor visa and looking for the right investments in Vietnam. So surrounding this area in District 1, you can see retail businesses such as a juice shop, coffee shop, and also a new commercial real estate development of a grade A building. So based on my experience, knowledge, I think that you should invest into one, if you have small capital, about $250,000 or less, than to invest into retail, uh, such as a coffee shop or a spa or a bar or other type of businesses that will help you generate income directly and on a monthly basis. And it's much smaller so you can actually control it. If you have more than a million dollars, then I would recommend that you look at into real estate. Uh, look at buying a property or multiple properties apartments and you can air it B&B or you can rent them out. Uh, there are many services that will manage the actual business for you that will get you a steady uh, residual and passive income. And if you are looking to even go bigger and bringing your manufacturing to Vietnam, right now is a great time because Vietnam is open for international investments. Vietnam has been manufacturing for over 40 years in many areas. Industrial parks provide a lot of tax benefits exemptions and the law will really protect the foreign factories and finally of course you would want to look into an innovative area that you can invest in is e-commerce uh, doing an app or a platform that brings products and services to the consumers very easily conveniently and you can get all the data so the real money is made right in between where you connect the consumers with the businesses and services so that's an e-commerce platform. So those are the areas that I would recommend you invest in Vietnam right now. The Vietnamese economy has attracted many expats that have come to Vietnam to live, work, and invest. And the reason why is it creates a very good lifestyle. The economy is growing very rapidly. 
having lived here for over 10 years now and invested into professional services, uh, entertainment, manufacturing, and many retail businesses, I can see and I believe that there are many opportunities for you to explore and work in Vietnam. So to be successful in business and also in life, professional networks and networks in general are very important. So if you're concerned or you're new to Vietnam and you want to build your professional networks, uh, we organize at Yung Global an event at Barcodes every single Thursday from 5.30 to 7, bringing in professionals from different areas uh, of uh, practice, from law to accounting to marketing, finance, education, and money, many other areas. So if you're interested, click on the link below in order to join that event and make sure you register because we have it every single Thursday. And we have a special is buy one, get one free signature cocktails at Barcodes. So as always, thank you very much for watching this video, but make sure that you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment below about different ways that you want to get passive or active income in Vietnam, and click on the bell for notifications. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.